one of Hong Kong's most iconic sights and sounds, a tram trundling its way across the city. They've been doing this for almost 120 years, but while the rest of Hong Kong has undergone radical modernization, the tram line has barely changed. To celebrate that, it's time to hop aboard and visit some other places that haven't changed much either. We're going to start our journey at one of Hong Kong's most colourful tram stops, here in the middle of this busy marketplace. This is where many of the trams come and turn before heading back into the city. But before we jump on board, there's just enough time to go and seek out one of Hong Kong's most traditional local snacks nearby. Why, Joe san I'm guy. This tiny kiosk is easy to miss, but it makes some of the best gai dan zai or egg waffles in town and has been featured in the world famous Michelin food guide. Starting to get busy. The waffles are made with a batter of eggs, flour, sugar and evaporated milk. Waffles first became popular in the 1950s and the recipe is still largely the same. Let's break a piece off. Ready? Crunchy on the outside. Mmm. Soft and fluffy on the inside, and most important of all, it's still warm. Perfect, what a great way to start a journey. Let's go. There are 165 double-decker tram cars in Hong Kong, carrying 200,000 passengers a day. That's earned the tram line a Guinness World Record for the largest double-decker tram fleet in service. The award is a new category to honor its rich history. Construction of the tram line began in 1903 to cater for the city's fast-growing population. They were so popular that 10 years later they doubled in size. Nowadays, they're still as popular as ever. I really enjoy watching the street scene slowly unfold, with the windows open and the wind blowing gently through the tram. It hasn't always been so relaxing for tram drivers. Before 1998, they weren't given a lunch break. That created the Cantonese phrase, Hong Dan Fan, meaning red light meals, as that was their only chance to grab a bite. Luckily, things have changed since then, and it's time to hop off for my own lunch break, somewhere with a dish as rich as its history. This char siu roast pork restaurant has been in Hong Kong for almost as long as the tram line. Its name, Joy Hing, means ongoing prosperity. There's lots of options on the menu here, but really there's only one thing this place is famous for. What's that, guy? What's that, char siu fan, guy? The roast pork here has also earned a mention in the Michelin Guide. Okay, here goes. Nice big thick cut pieces of char siu in here. Mmm. Really succulent. Really juicy. Very, very flavoursome. In honour of the tram drivers, I finished my plate in quick time so I could head to a very modern celebration of the tram's history. Just one street away from the tram line, there's a new exhibition featuring some of Hong Kong's brightest up-and-coming photographers, and they're all taking photos of the same thing. The photographers behind these shots wanted to create new perspectives of tram life and bring back some childhood memories in the process. When I was a kid, I would say I'm quite lucky to get a lot of toys, but never the tram set or the train set because my mum always say, ah, you cannot get the large toy. So, so I have to actually borrow the tram set as part of my toy collection. Inspired by the creativity, it was time to seek out my own picturesque final destination. I rode the tram towards the central business district, but jumped off just before I got there to explore somewhere much quieter. Hidden behind all the skyscraper office blocks is Hong Kong Park, and nestled among the trees is the famous Lok Cha Tea House. With so many extravagant tea leaves to choose from, it was time to get some expert advice. I would say for the hot climate like uh, this summer, we can drink something tea for the cool down our body. Especially I would say the Long Jing. Long Jing is very excellent green tea. These tea leaves need to be briefly soaked in room temperature water first to make sure the serving is exactly 85 degrees and the first cup is supposed to be the best. Mmm, it's delicious. Not too hot your body for your cool down. Well, this has certainly been a very refreshing end to an exciting day of exploring some traditional Hong Kong culture. So all that's left to do now is hop back on the tram and slowly make my way home. Cheers.
The company that manages the tram network is now hoping to expand it to other areas of Hong Kong, and in so doing, ensure it can keep its record-breaking status for another 100 years. Richard Kimber, the CGTN in Hong Kong.